usually what my mornings go like is I make my coffee and I go back to bed and I read. So I'm gonna get back in bed and read a couple chapters of my book because that is that's what we do. So. Um, but this is a new video for me, um, but welcome to my morning routine. Um, right now I am just back in bed. I am reading my book. I'm currently reading Homegoing by Yag Yasi. It's been a slower read for me. It's taking me a little bit longer to get through it, but I am determined <laughs> to get through it. Um, I also have my coffee with me. Um, my mornings are very, very slow, and it's honestly taking me a long time to get a morning routine that works for me i think a lot of the time you know society tells us that we have to get up super super early we have to work out we have to do this and this and this and this and i actually noticed that you know when i was trying to do that i was hitting snooze like four or five times um and then you know at one point i tried to move my phone away from my nightstand so i wouldn't hit snooze that worked for a little bit um and then I just would turn off the alarm and then get back in bed. And so I, you know, started trying to find a motivation to get out of bed. And this kind of all, you know, discovery and playing around with my morning routine was actually thanks to Atomic Habits. Um, so if you haven't picked up the book, honestly do so. It's not the most amazing book I've ever read, but it, it does get you thinking about your own routine. So it is good in that sense. Um, and it was thanks to that book that I actually really started to rethink morning routines and, you know, getting away from what a morning routine should look like you know and i started to just really break apart my own morning routine you know what makes me happy what gets me out of bed one of the things that the book tells you to do is to write down step by step all the different things that you do in the morning and then you know you kind of have to start thinking about what makes you happy what you know motivates you and one of the things that i noticed was i loved being in bed not necessarily to sleep um, I just love the comfort and coziness of my bed. So once my alarm went off, I was awake, no problem. I just struggled to actually get up and walk around and do other things. I would say it's almost been two months. I think we're stepping into the two month territory. I actually changed my morning routine. And instead of, you know, getting up, um, shutting my alarm off and just getting up and getting ready for my day, I actually <laughs> would turn my alarm off, make a coffee and get back in bed and read and i cannot tell you how life-changing that little change has been i am so excited to get up in the morning i just i make my coffee i'm pretty much half asleep while i'm making my coffee um, but i make my coffee and i come back in bed and i just read and no i don't fall back asleep like i said when i wake up in the morning i'm awake i'm ready for the day i just i i like to be in bed <laughs> and you know making that change has been so amazing and I love it. So right now I just kind of read um, a chapter of my book. I'm still making my coffee, but what comes next is I like to give my face a rinse and do a little bit of gua sha. Um, I haven't been doing gua sha every day, um, but on days that say I'm filming or I'm vlogging, I like to do gua sha to kind of depuff my face. Right now my lips are very puffy and my face is very puffy and that's totally normal in the morning. Um, and so I do like to do just a quick gua sha session and then from there I will do my makeup, get dressed for the day. I shower at night so I never have to shower in the morning um, and then I will start my day and I won't have breakfast until later on. So truthfully breakfast is not a part of my morning routine because I just rarely eat breakfast in the morning. I will honestly usually eat it at around 11, 12 o'clock. I just, I just don't get hungry. In the mornings, I'm really not that hungry in the mornings. So in the morning, I really try to avoid my phone as soon as I get up in the morning. So a while back, I moved my phone away from my nightstand onto my kind of vanity desk area. 
that's where it charges that's where it lives at night and in the morning and I pretty much tried to not touch my phone aside from snoozing and uh, turning the alarm off <laughs> until I'm ready to start my day and I'm sat here ready to you know do my makeup my skincare and all that um, I read somewhere and I, I don't know where I heard I don't know if I heard it or someone told me I can't remember but um, essentially it's this idea that the first few minutes um, of the morning of you know of a person waking up are really really important to how we function and what we consume during those few minutes can really kind of impact us and so I pretty much decided that you know for those few minutes I would focus um, and not I would try to not consume any any media any content um, I try to just not touch my phone, you know, I focus on myself, you know, I'll have a coffee. If I don't feel like reading, that's fine. I will just sit and stare out my window and be alone with my own thoughts. Um, but most mornings I, I will just read and that's what's worked for me. But yeah, I don't know where I read that and I don't know, honestly, I didn't really search it up and, you know, see if that was actually true. Um, but it made sense to me that those few minutes are kind of important to us and so I just decided to completely take away my phone um, you know yeah it's worked great for me yeah that's what I've decided to do in my morning so I try not to touch my phone I would say for the first 30 40 minutes of my morning um, and then once I'm awake obviously now I'm awake I will you know grab my phone and see what's going on in the social media world out there um, Usually there isn't much going on because it would just be work. Um, yeah, so there's not much I can do. It just takes me a few minutes. <laughs> um, but right now I'm going to do my gua sha. Like I said, I don't do gua sha every morning. But on days where I do have to film or shoot content, um, kind of from the start of the day, I like to do gua sha just because it depuffs my face. Um, otherwise, if I'm not shooting content, I'm not bothered by it. Um, so I will just skip it out. Um, but I'm using this um, Mina heel gua sha stone i found this one on amazon super inexpensive it actually came with a jade roller as well i don't use a jade roller i just i like the gua sha stone um and then i'm also using this 100 organic cold pressed road hip road <laughs> rose hip seed oil from the ordinary um i'm not a fan of oil <laughs> too much on my face so what i do is i actually will do the gua sha and then I will rinse my face off afterwards just to kind of get rid of um, any excess oil. And then I will start with my skincare routine. And while I do that, I'm going to watch Netflix. That is a part of my morning routine. I like to watch either a movie or a show. Um, I used to listen to audiobooks, but obviously since I just read, I like to just watch something that is just, it's just casual. Um, sometimes I'll put on a YouTube video, but honestly, most days it's just something on Netflix. So today we are watching Pretty Little Liars season one episode 10. <laughs> I just finished watching Stranger Things and it was so so good. I, I have seen it already by the way but I, I re-watched it and I just I remembered how good it was. So anyways I'm chatting way too much. It is 8 10 and I need to be ready for work for 9 so yeah let's get going. with the gua sha it just feels so much better so much less puffy and just heavy um so like i said i'm gonna go give my face a quick rinse just because i don't like that feeling of the oil on my face and then i will do my skincare routine with you all right so i just gave my face a quick rinse for my morning skincare i'm going to start with my ren brightening dark circle eye cream I know I told you I would give you guys an update on this and I am quite enjoying it. It is really, really nice. It just feels so, so refreshing underneath the eyes. 
Next is my La Roche Posay Pure Vitamin C Serum. So I'm going to use just a drop of that. I like to keep my skincare in the morning really, really simple. Actually, I like to keep my skincare simple regardless. <laughs> um, and then, of course, my Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, this is just my holy grail. It has been for years now. It's just so, so, so good. It's so light and yet it's so hydrating. And it feels kind of like water going on your face. <laughs> And the last step to my skincare, which is probably the most important, is SPF. Um, my favorite SPF right now is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Invisible Finish SPF. This SPF is so, so good. I discovered it a year ago, and it is truly one of the best SPFs. It's really watery, as you can see, um, but it does have an invisible finish, which makes it perfect for all skin tones. It's not going to give you... Um, like a white cast or anything um, and because it does have kind of that like really liquidy consistency it's really really nice underneath makeup so that's my morning skincare next is makeup I'm actually not gonna do my makeup with you because I already have a video up uh, which I'll leave up here for you and I also will be doing my makeup with you in the next vlog that you see so yeah I'm gonna do my makeup I'm gonna keep watching pretty little eyes and get ready for the day for my makeup i really do my makeup depending on what i'm doing that day so if i'm filming i will do a little bit more on my face um if i'm having a very low key say like editing admin day then i will do something um you know a lot lighter i don't like to feel like i have a ton of makeup on my face anyways um but today because i am not really filming much just this i'm just gonna do something light um so yeah that's the plan so let me get on with my makeup and I might have to go make another cup of coffee because we're almost done with my coffee. Anyways, let me do my makeup. <laughs> makeup all done very natural very simple um it took me all of i don't know 10 minutes to do um but it is now 8 43 so i am going to get dressed um i will pick a fragrance with you because i know you guys love to know what fragrances i use but anyways i'm gonna go pick an outfit today like i said is mainly editing and just admin so i'm gonna try and keep it relatively comfy i know i always when i get editing i like to wrap myself up in sweaters because it gets so 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 cold um but i always love to get dressed that is the way i like to start my day i like to start you know ready for the day ready to tackle on anything that comes my way but anyways yeah let me go get dressed all right i am dressed i just kind of touched up my hair i really didn't do much to it i have to wash it tonight anyway so there's really no point in adding too much heat to it. I have put on this Zara dress. I'm sorry, I don't think it's available anymore, but if it is, I will link it down below. Um, but I just felt like wearing something summery because the sun is out today and it just, it feels like summer, um, even though it's not. And then fragrance, I used my Gucci Bloom today. I know some of you have asked me like how I pick my fragrance and honestly, this is gonna sound very silly, but I walk up to my little vanity of um, fragrances I don't have many I know people are asking me for like my uh, fragrance collection and I just I don't I don't really have a collection um, but I literally will walk up to my fragrances and I will just smell them and some mornings you know I just will not feel like some and some mornings I will and so as I'm smelling them the moment I find one that I'm like oh, it smells so good that's the one I wear that day <laughs> and so today I got that feeling with Gucci bloom that's the one that just stood out to me so that's what I put on this morning all right, I just wanted to show you what I would wear today if I was leaving the house. So we've got this um, Zara dress. I've just put a blazer on it. And if I were to go out today, I would wear it just like this. I would probably put on tights because it's still quite chilly here. So just to show you what jewelry I'm wearing today, I've got my little Charlotte Bold earrings. 
This is my Missouri diamond uh, necklace. I've got my Charlotte bold ring, my Nord green watch, and then of course the herringbone bracelet. I just never take that bracelet off anymore. Um, so this is what I would wear if I had to go out. But since I am not leaving my house today, I will just be wearing this dress all on its own. No shoes, no nothing. Um, and if I get cold, I will just put my cardigan over top of it but yeah this is just a really simple Zara dress I love these types of dresses because they're just so comfy to be in um, like I said I don't have to leave my house so I don't have to be worried about being cold or hot or anything like that um, I can just really wear whatever I want so yeah this is today's outfit just really really simple and comfy but yeah that's what I'm wearing today very simple I also have um, I have my cardigan um, my unwind Aritzia cardigan waiting for me at my work area um, because I know that when I get editing I get very very cold but right now I'm gonna grab my stuff I'm gonna move into the kitchen sometimes I work out of here um, but for today, I just kind of want to be in the kitchen. I'm going to open up my blinds. It's really, really sunny today, so it's going to be nice and bright in there. But anyways, I'm going to grab all my stuff that I need for work. So for me, that is usually my agenda. I've got a notebook with me. I've got my phone. It's very important. My AirPods and my laptop, of course. So I'm going to move into the kitchen, and then I will kind of show you how I get prepped for my work day. All right, I am in the kitchen now. I am actually just going to make another coffee. Um, before I get to work so I am going to grab I know some of you I think asked how I make my coffee um, and it's really simple I only use two things it's not fancy okay it's not fancy. Um, but essentially I keep my coffees very simple I just add this sprout sprout milk uh, this is a plant-based pea milk and I actually I um, switched over to the unsweetened version about a couple weeks ago, I think it was, and I really, really like it. I was really worried that it was going to taste different, but honestly, it tastes super, super good. Um, but the barista version and the original version are also just as good. I believe the original version has six grams of sugar. The barista has four. This one has zero. Um, and I just didn't think there was a need for sugar in my milk, to be honest, um, because I already add... A creamer so I just switched to the unsweetened version and I can't even tell the difference <laughs> so um, for my coffee I'm gonna use the Inspiracion Genova this is I believe an Italian pod um, I like to have Illy first thing in the morning because that is my favorite coffee um, and that just gets me excited to you know have my cup of coffee first thing in the morning and then throughout the day I'll switch over to some other pods so this is the one I'm gonna have today um, so yeah let me make that have breakfast till later but today I I'm actually kind of hungry um, not a, not overly hungry Again, I try to eat intuitively so I just eat when my body asks me for food and I'm hungry so what I'm gonna have right now is I'm actually just gonna have this coconut milk yogurt from Mason Riviera these are my absolute favorite I believe this is the raspberry and black currant flavor or yeah flavor I guess um, so so good so what I'm gonna have is I don't want to have it on its own because that's that's just not enough so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add hemp seeds and chia seeds to this but I've got some hemp seeds here and some chia seeds so I'm just gonna add quite a lot of that Okay, now my chia seeds. I love to add as many like nutritious things to my foods. Okay, you will never catch me eating oatmeal on its own. It's just not enough. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna give that a good stir and just get that all mixed in. So that's gonna be my little breakfast snack. It's not my full breakfast. I'll probably end up having um, like a bigger breakfast later on, or I guess, brunch 
right, coffee is ready. So like I said, I like to use um, a creamer. This is this Silk Almond for coffee. So it's an almond creamer, but this is the hazelnut flavor. And for some reason, they don't carry the hazelnut flavor in the tall, like the taller, the bigger size. So I have to constantly keep buying the little mini me's and it's so annoying. <laughs> And now the milk. This milk just froths so beautifully. I love it. I'll show you. Do you guys want to see? Oh, so beautiful. Sorry, I feel like this lighting is very wonky because it is super, super bright and sunny outside. But um, essentially, it is now 9.05 work. My work day has begun. So what I like to do now is I like to close up all my Netflix tabs, first of all. <laughs> and I like to look through my agenda to see what I have on my to-do list for today, any priorities. Um, I do have kind of like an upload schedule here, which lets me know if I have to film anything or upload anything. Um, and then I will also pull up my Google Calendar. Um, so this is something that's actually shared between my mom and I, so that gives us a sense of what we're going to do today. I know she has her full-time job, but she does help me quite a lot. And so whenever she is able to help me out, she chimes in, she looks at my schedule to see if, you know, we need to touch base around anything, if there is anything that we have to talk about. Um, oftentimes, you know, if I'm dealing with brands, we will talk about whatever it is that we need to talk about together. And so, yeah, so I will pull up my Google Calendar. I will see what's on my to-do list for today. It looks like today is pretty much just editing for the first part of the day but yeah that is pretty much it i'm ready to just start my day and get to work all right guys i have just come to sit here that way we have a better lighting for me to say bye but that is my morning routine um it is very simple you know um for some time i think there's this pressure on us to get up super early and be super productive right off the bat and honestly the moment i let go of those thoughts and kind of preconceived ideas I was actually able to find a routine that worked for me so yes I like to get right back in bed get cuddled up and read a book have my coffee you know doing my makeup and spending that time in the morning you know taking care of myself doing my makeup watching a Netflix show that's really important to me and that is something that I need to just you know get myself going be with myself and in my own thoughts and you know, I make sure that I take the time to have those moments and that moment may look different for someone else. You know, for someone else, um, that makeup time is yoga time. So you need to find what works for you and what makes you feel fulfilled and ready to start the day. Um, getting ready is another big part for me. I love getting ready and getting dressed. That is just something that makes me feel super, super good. And yeah, so right now it is just past nine o'clock. I am ready to get to work and wrap this video up um, because that's what was on my schedule for this morning from what was it 6 50 a.m was vlogging my morning routine but anyways i really really hope you guys enjoyed watching this morning routine and i'm really excited to see how my morning routine changes over time i've actually quite enjoyed and have been able to maintain this routine and this is something that's really important you know i think we can all create these super crazy routines and then we can only stick to them for a week. This is a routine that I've actually been able to maintain and it makes me really happy. It's been a couple months now and I really, really have enjoyed this morning routine. So we'll see how it evolves and changes over time. Um, but for now, this is one that I really enjoy and will be keeping for some time. So yeah, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe as I would love to have you join the family. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.